What's up guys, Triple M here again and today I'm just checking in and I just wanted to do a quick video of the new Samsung Gear S3 Gear Manager app. Now this app is what you use to control most of the function on your new Gear S3. So let's just jump into it. I'm going to just walk you guys through and show you guys how to get different apps and how to adjust different settings. <laughs> Okay, so let's just open the app. It's on my home screen. All right, so here's the inside of the gear app, guys. And um, basic, basic setup. If you look, you have two main menus at the top. You have the info and settings. And since we're here already, let's just go to the info and see what's going on. As you can see, as at the top of the app right here, you have two updates pending. You can just go ahead and click on the updates and view the updates. And as you can see, you have two tabs again. One is for your phone and one is for the gear. So it looks like I have an update for the weather for gear as well as the S help. So just go ahead and click that, um, that button right there. Accept the download. You can just click the other one and uh, accept the download as well. All right, so let me just back out of here. All right, so back to the info screen, guys. So once the update is done, the menu will disappear. But Here's some good information that you need to know about your gear. The first tab right here shows your battery life. And guys, I've been using this all day, so this is a day's worth of use, and it's at 72%. It is now 8.39 p.m., and I start my day about 5.30, so a full day's worth. So this will easily go to two days that they, um, they advertise, or three days that they advertise. Um, next, you have your storage, and then last, you have your RAM. So let's click on the battery first, and it will give you some more information. So if you click on the battery, you'll get a nice um, query of different things or what is being used and what your batteries is, um, what is consuming your batteries most. And look like for me, it's the watch faces. Or it used about 45% of my battery life throughout the day. So um, that's what's gonna eat up most of your battery life. So if you guys wanna do a low, um, low light or a darker um, watch face, that will help your battery life as well. Second is S Voice, S Health, Notification, and Samsung Pay. So those are the three things that's been eating on my battery. And once you um, this is since your last full charge, so once you recharge, it will start over. So that's good to know. So that's your battery usage. Let's go back. Now you have your storage. And same concept. You click on it, it show you the different things that's using your storage. Um, system apps is 2.6 gigs. Unnecessary data look like it's um, 0.3 megabytes and available space is 1.4 gigs. All right, so look like your app's going to eat up most of your space and you can go through and clean with different things. Okay, last but not least, you have your RAM right here and it shows what's running in the background and you can go ahead and kill your apps from here as well. So I can just go ahead and click um, clean now and it should kill everything that's running in the background. And there it is. So further down, you see you have your uh, Samsung Pay. And I'll, I'll get into that in another video. And you also have suggested um, watch faces, suggested apps, and your health. Okay, so that's your info tab. Click more right here. You have the option to disconnect from your gear, or you can connect to a new gear, or you can have your health settings there. Okay, so let's go to settings. Now here's your watch faces. Go back. So here's the the main menu. You have watch faces, notification, apps, um, send content to gear, send SOS requests, find my gear, gear connection, quick messages, auto call forwarding, social network sharing, S Health, Samsung Pay, Samsung Galaxy apps, and about your gear, and about gear apps. So a lot of uh, different menus here. Let me let me go into the watch faces for you guys. So this is the watch face that I'm currently running and this particular face I can actually um, customize a little bit so you can just hit your stylized right there and you can change different colors so you can change the, the main clock there what color it is and then if you go even further down you can change different things so it look like my complications one look like right now it's set to my heart rate which would be the top left right here so I can change that to barometer for instance and you can see that changed to 1024 or I can change it to um, pedometer and it shows your steps same thing complication 2 and that shows my weather and um, you can go ahead and change it to whatever you want complication 3 
set to my steps complication for my battery life so nice little options here for this watch face if you wanted to change your to a different watch face you can simply click here and you can switch to the new watch face then you can go in and you can do some uh, customization as well okay, so I'm gonna go back to the watch faces and I'll just go ahead and set it to the watch face that I had running Okay. This watch face right here actually allows you to um, upload a photo in the background, so that's pretty cool. So if I wanted to do um, my Dr. Evil right there, let me just click on it. I can uh, move it around and zoom in, zoom out a bit, and just get it nice and centered where I want it. Like that. Get the one billion in there. Oops. Right there, and I can just click save. Save it again, and that's my watch face now. <laughs> All right? And if you go down to four more, you can see your featured app. So click to more, and it'll bring you right into the app store. So here's your watch faces, and you can go through and you can go by paid, free, um, new, or whatever the case is. If you click back right here. You can see different options for your gear. So you can do watch faces, featured apps, top apps. And you have different categories, staff picks, and you have different apps and games you can play. The top grossing apps or top um, downloaded apps and stuff like that. You can also search for apps, which is a good touch. All right, so let me back out a little bit. Back out of watch faces. Next you have notifications. And this is where you can turn on all notifications or turn on notifications for different apps. So if I go to manage notifications right here, as you can see, these are all the notifications that I have running to my uh, gear. And if you scroll down, you can see I have a lot of them turned off. So it's definitely up to you guys to pick what you want. Or you can just click all apps here to enable everything. But that also, you have to take your battery into account when you do stuff like that. All right. This is uh, shown only when um, while wearing gear. So if you get a notification when the, you're not wearing the gear, it won't pop up on your watch face. This is while using the phone, and it shows the notification from your phone to your gear while you're using the phone. And this is the option to turn on the screen when you get a new notification. Okay. Auto show details. I have that currently on. So if I get a new text message, for instance, so I just bring the, um, the watch face up and it'll show what the text message is saying. You have a notification indicator, and what that does is it's an orange um, dot on the watch face. So when you look at your watch face, you'll see that you have a new notification. You just scroll to the left and you'll see what that notification is. Smart relay that set your phone to show content from your gear when you pick it up out to receive the notifications. Okay. That's your notification. You can go to apps here. And these are all the apps that are currently installed on your um, phone. And you can um, do different things with, with different apps. Um, not all of them are customizable. You can go to messaging, you can force stop. Um, you can check for updates and stuff like that. All right, send gear to content. Now this is a very cool feature. You have an auto sync uh, feature. And what this allows you to do is basically you can have a playlist, let's say in your um, Samsung Music Store, and you can dedicate your watch to sync to that playlist automatically. So now, this will only happen when you dock your watch. So, if you have a, a group of songs that you update or you um, move around very often, you can put that on there. And as soon as you dock your watch, you can it starts syncing. So, if you remove something during the day, it will remove that song from the watch once you dock, which is a pretty cool feature. Um, same thing with folder, and you can um, do the auto sync with the folder as well. Neat feature. I, I haven't used it yet on the Gear S3, but I've used it on the um, 2 and it worked very well. Alright, so here's the SOS. <clears throat> you can see, um, press it three times to send the emergency. <clears throat> the emergency contacts for the seat. So basically, you um, you select uh, predetermine your emergency contacts. So if you're in trouble, you can just press the button three times and you're um, your emergency contact will be notified with your location. So, just in case um, you guys have emergencies, okay? That's another cool feature that I haven't enabled yet, but um, at some point I will. Here's your um, gear connection. It's just showing your connection right now. It's on. It's um, also have remote connection, and it's um, sync Wi-Fi profiles, okay? 
So basically what this allows you to do is you can connect to the Wi-Fi through your phone. So if you're tethered via Bluetooth and you wanted to go to um, go to a website or something on your on your watch, your watch will use the data connection from the phone, which is another cool feature. It saves you on data. All right, so that's your gear connection. You have quick messages, and yet you can um, go to your quick responses here. You can add quick responses. You can edit them. Um, when someone's messaging you, you can just hit um, one of these quick responses. When someone's calling you, you can also hit a, a quick response. I can't talk right now. I'll call you back, or you can go ahead and add your own custom message. All right, so that's your quick responses. You, I have auto call forwarding. Mine is currently enabled. I have AT&T, so I have a uh, number sync as well. So as you can see, there's my gear phone number. And um, so basically what happens is if you leave your phone at home, for instance, if someone calls you on your regular cell phone, it will forward to your gear watch. And if you make a call from your gear watch, it will also show on the person as your regular phone number so they know who exactly who it is. That's your call forwarding. Social networking. That's for your um, your S Health stuff. If you want to share with people on Facebook and stuff like that. Further down, you have S Health, Samsung Pay. You have your Samsung Galaxy apps, and that just brings you to the App Store. You have About Gear and About Samsung Galaxy Gear app. Okay. If you click about the gear app, it will tell you what version of the gear app you're running. Click about the gear, it will bring you to the battery, the storage, the RAM. You have the option to update your gear software, backup or restore, legal information. You can also enable it unknown sources, which I don't recommend just because, especially if you have Samsung Pay, I wouldn't recommend it, but um, that's an option right there. And um, that's about it. I like how it's put together. Um, I've used this on the Gear S2 and like I said, it's been great. Also I'll use this on the original Gear, which was the square one and it worked great. So um, definitely a uh, must have if you have the Samsung Gear. So that's it for this video guys. Like I said, this is just a quick run through of the um, Samsung Gear uh, Manager or Gear app. If you guys have any questions or comments, just leave them in the box below. Also please like and subscribe and thanks for watching.